Basically, there can be two types of credit memo. Credit memo, which are, not against, any specific invoice transaction, but against a, customer as a whole, are called, on account credits, in Oracle Fusion terminology. And the second type is, a credit memo, which is specific, to an invoice billing transaction, is referred to as, credit transaction in Fusion. This on account credits, are credits, you assign, to your customer accounts, that are not related to, specific invoice. Like for example, if your customer, remits payments of, $100, for a, $90 invoice, you can, create an on account credit, for $10. And you can, then apply this, on account credit, to another transaction. Thus on account credit, are the credit memo, which can be applied to, more than one transaction, and for creating this, on account credit memo transaction, we need to go to, the create transaction page, and select the transaction class. The other one is, credit transaction, which are against, a particular specific invoice, billing transaction, credit transaction, can be done, either from the credit transaction page, or, searching the invoice billing transaction, which, you want to credit, and selecting credit transaction, from the actions list of value. Let us, do, both in Fusion system. Here, we are, on the main page of, Fusion receivables, which consists of info tiles. In order, to create, an on account credit memo, you need to, select the create transaction task. So, this is, the create transaction page. Here, by default, the transaction class, is coming as invoice, which, you need to change, to credit memo. Now, the fields, which are mark and star, are the mandatory fields. Transaction source, will, default as manual. The transaction type will now, only show you the credit memo transaction types. Let's select regular credit memo. Optionally, select the customer reference number, against which, you are, creating, this credit memo transaction, say, rebate request. Select, the transaction date, and accounting date, by default, system will, select the current date, as the transaction date, and accounting date. You can also, enter a salesperson name. And attach, any attachment, if you had, like, as supporting document. Now, select, the bill to customer name, say, ABC application software, so, as soon as, you select, the bill to name here, system will, default, the ship to name, because, this particular customer, has only, one ship to site. Enter, the description, of the transaction, say, you are, creating, a credit memo, of $1,000. Select, the quantity, and unit price, and system will calculate, the amount for you. Note that, the credit memo, will always be, in negative. So, once, you have, entered, the credit memo details, you can, complete it, by using, complete button. Once completed, system will, generate, the credit memo number, which is, 11,968. And, the action list of value, will be enabled. Also, you can, view the image, of this credit memo, which will, fetch all the details, of the credit memo, which we have created. Along with the line description, and, the payment remittance details, and, special instruction, if any. Here, the logo, and, name of your company, will appear, depending, on the setup, made. So, once satisfied, you can, click on OK. Now, in order to apply this credit memo,
you need to go to Accounts Receivables section. Under your receivables. This page is just like billing, also has information in info tile format, and here, you can, select the info tile, of unapplied credits. Which will, show, all the unapplied credit memos, here, it is, showing you, all the, unapplied credits, which are, created, in last 4 days. So, here is, our credit memo. 11,968, which, we have, just created, you can, open, the same, by clicking, on the transaction number, hyperlink, and, from here, you can, click on, add open receivables, and search, the transaction number, against which, you want, to apply, this credit memo. Also, you can, search by, customer name, and, here, it will, show you, all the open transactions, of ABC application software, along with, the due dates, of the transaction. So, depending on, due date, you can, select that, against which billing transaction, you need, to apply, the particular credit memo. Here, the open invoices, are coming, and, sorted, in accordance with, the transaction number. If you had, like to sort, based on, the due date, you can, just click, on the, up arrow of sort ascending, and, system will, sort the transaction, for you, based on the due dates, based on which, you can, decide the application. You can, click on, add, or, you can, click on done, so, the entire credit memo amount, of 1087 is now applied, to the open invoice. So, this was about, how, we can create, on account credit memo, and, applied, to the same, against the open invoice transaction. Now, let us, have a look, as to, how we can create a, credit memo, by crediting a transaction. So, let us, go back, to our billing, we can, create a, credit transaction, using either, this credit transaction form, or, searching the invoice and, crediting the invoice, from action list of value. Both will, open the same form, so, let us, search the transaction, select, the invoice, here is the invoice, which we have created, so, system has, opened the invoice, 11568, which we have, created, in our previous session, and, from action list of value, we can, select the credit transaction, which will, open the credit transaction form, so, basically, that credit transaction form, can, either be access, from the action list of value of the invoice, or, from my task pen, credit transaction form. So, here, by default, against this credit transaction, the system has selected, the original transaction, which, has been credited, here, unlike, the on account credit memo, wherein, you can, select multiple invoices, against which, you want to apply, credit memo, here, there will be, only one invoice, against which, this credit memo transaction, will be created. Say, you select, the credit reason, as, late delivery, due to which, 20% rebate is, being allowed, to customer. So, once, you enter the header information, you can, move down, to transaction amount, and, select the amount, which you want, to credit, by selecting, the credit entire balance button, will credit, the credit memo, for the entire amount, of the original invoice transaction. Credit lines, will let you, credit individual lines, in case, there is, a damaged laptop bags, then, you can, select the particular lines, of laptop bags. But as in our case, this is, due to, late delivery. So, you are, giving entire, 20% rebate, to the customer, on all the lines. System will, just give you, a warning message, 
click yes, and, here, system has automatically derived, the amount, to be credited, for you, based, on the percent, which you have, entered here, after, enter the information, you can, complete the transaction. So, this is, how, you can, create, credit memo, in Oracle Fusion Receivable.